I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Yo, 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 peace family. What's going on? It's Cornez with Too Smart to Be Broke. I want to thank you for tuning in to the channel today. All right, I told you I was going to be bringing in some some people that's going to put y'all up on game about as far as, uh, you know, getting to this bag, especially in this day and age. And, uh, you know, this brother I got coming on right now, Cristobal, uh, Maldo Cristo on, on Instagram. But we'll, we'll leave all this information at the end so we can plug yourself. Uh, some dude, who's, he's, he's very knowledgeable uh, about, you know, these, these cryptocurrencies markets. So I wanted to bring him on so he can share his experience, his insight. And, uh, you know, we're not here to give any financial advice or, or anything like that. But we just want to share some insight with you. And maybe, you know, maybe you can take some some nuggets from it and you could do the same. All right. So with that being said, uh, hey, go ahead, take the time to introduce yourself and, uh, you know, tell us where you're from, how you got started. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm uh, a from Texas. Uh, you can find me at Maldo Cristo on Instagram and Twitter. So a little bit of background about myself. I, of course, graduated high school, just like everybody else. I went to college to play uh, soccer, but didn't really know what I really wanted to do. I ended up dropping out of college twice. Wow. Uh, and then uh, I was I was more into uh the making money aspect because I, I was working a full-time job and going to school at the same time. So uh, I just went into the workforce after I dropped out of college, I guess two to three years after high school. Uh, then didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, and then in 2015, I stumbled upon YouTube and started learning about entrepreneur lifestyle. And uh, from there, from there, 2017, uh, a huge, huge uh, shift in my life. I ended up getting in a car accident 2017 and uh, left me paralyzed wow. uh, from the top two abs down. Uh, and then still in that entrepreneurial lifestyle and started learning other aspects of financial, the financial world which led me to crypto and then now i'm here man uh, a little quick overview wow so um kind of similar to a lot of us uh initially you know we're we're working like for myself i went to sac you know a community college here in san antonio and uh northeast lakeview and I, di I didn't know what i wanted to do but i went for business or business management i was just doing some basic i didn't even have the mindset at the time that i do now or nowhere near it i just didn't know you know i just thought maybe i'll go to school and eventually so on and so forth uh i, I got a job because i'm like, like i gotta make some money right so i kind of put my dream to the side it's like i need to make money to pay bills or whatever kind of fell into that trap and it sounds like that you know you were kind of like working going to school and it's like uh let me go i'd rather just go make some money but and in, in eventually you came to the uh you know wanted to seek knowledge as far as entrepreneurship now um you had an uh unfortunate uh, uh circumstance as far as that car um accident that gave you uh what is a spinal injury or yeah, it was a spinal cord injury. Wow. So uh, now, now the fact that and I'm sure that you went through certain ups and downs, but how 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 did it help you that you were already had the mindset of being an entrepreneur in this day and age when something like that happens to you that's pretty much out of your control? Um, it really shows that um, you need to start taking your life a little bit more seriously um just the way that how you're talking about your mindset whenever you went to college didn't know really know what you like you didn't, didn't really know what you wanted to do um i thought i was going to go play, play professional ball soccer uh but then i came to the realization like there's a lot of uh, you have to you have to like give up a lot of things in your life in order to pursue some dreams and uh it took too long for me to understand that and when i went in and got that accident, man. Uh, yeah, like it, it, it kind of it throws you off. It's hard to explain it, bro. But like I went, it throws you off. It, it really makes you uh, think like, dang, I should have done this when I was uh, before my accident. I, and then I wouldn't be so stressed out about, it's all about money, bro. Yeah. So when, 
the accident, I already had a business to, okay. to go off, of, but I didn't have a savings. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have nothing to, to really fall back on. I had some money on the side, but like it was not enough. Like, uh, right. When I got in an accident, it, it really made me actually go and look for information on how I, like, that's going to be my why pretty much. Like, the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing now is right. I got in that accident, I didn't have those funds. I didn't have uh, the peace of mind to where, like, all right, I don't got to go to work. I don't uh, have to rely on family members to, right. to help me out financially. Uh, Sorry, bro. Went off a tangent there, but uh... no, it's good. It's good. Uh, it, it it's good just because for me, um, that's something else that just shows you shows all of us. Right? You say it's about money. I say it's about money. That's lame in terms of money. But for me, it's about freedom and it's about you know, uh, you know, having all the things that we we need. You know, food, shelter, water, all that stuff. But money is the tool in this matrix that we need uh, to to do all those things, right? Uh, and so when you're in a position to where your cash flow stopped and you literally like your life has changed, you're not able to do things in the exact same way that you were uh, b before. So it gave you your mindset uh, even more bigger thrust and pushed you into this position, which is, is very interesting. So like what, what was your first encounters like when getting into crypto? Like what what was the first first thing that, you know, you came across that you found interesting? Maybe you know, you lost money, made money. Can you, can you start like how it started for you? So how it started is, like I said, I was already dabbling into the uh, business side of things with, I had a landscaping company. Okay. Uh, but, I, but I also was working uh, full time at a moving company. But when I got in the accident, that moving company income went away. So I had to rely on that uh, business income, but I'm sure, I'm sure you know how the business, the business world works. You can't use all that money to fund your life because you still have to pay for right. other things to keep your business up and running. Right. Uh, so when I, when I got into the crypto game, I was just looking for another stream of income to help uh, because there's expenses in my life now that I have no choice but to have those expenses. Right. Uh, so when I got into crypto, I was like I said, I was looking for another income stream. So I decided to try to trade uh so i started learning about forex i started learning just about anything that can make my fiat value go up right so um another like that's how i got into crypto um but i almost got a bad taste of crypto because my first encounter with bitcoin is i almost got scammed mm. uh so that's one big thing that i uh like to tell people is that you can't really trust anybody. You have to verify everything that you do in this That's world right. because right. Um, it's, it's a different than the regular financial world that you're used to. With crypto, there ain't no reverse transactions or nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, it's not uh, funny. Uh, it's not funny, but hold, hold that thought. Um, I had somebody reach out to me, and it might have been like a month ago or so. I'm not going to mention their name, but... Um, you know, we have a bunch of people, you know, I'm sure everybody hasn't gotten a scam call or before. Right. Um, long story short, um, it was a married couple. Uh, the wife received a phone call saying something about Social Security. And, you know, they made it seem like it was real urgent and real scary. Uh, she literally uh, went to uh, withdraw money from their savings account, checking account, everything, and, and went to a Bitcoin ATM and sent them like, I don't know, probably like seven or eight thousand dollars. I could be a little off or somewhere like that. Uh, uh, Bitcoin and, you know, it's gone. So, you know, we're not saying that Bitcoin is bad. I'm not I'm not saying that. But he's saying that just be aware of who you're sending your money to. And that can be any type of money. But when how you're making your transactions, always do your due diligence. You know, so um, that's one thing that I, I know uh, before I got into Bitcoin. That's what people are talking about is for criminals and all this and that. But uh now nowadays it's you know we got all type of corporations and all type of different things coming from that so just be careful with anything that you do everything is a risk i just yeah. like i was saying before but go ahead i mean to cut you off no you're good so the good thing is i i did it get scanned because i didn't send any money but um that's how i got introduced like you said be careful because some people can be very convincing and if you don't know anything about crypto first thing people want to do when they get come to crypto when am I going to make a lot of money? And that's when you go into, into it with that mindset, 
you're probably going to get scammed because everybody's going to sound so appealing to you with mm-hmm. what they're coming to you with. So um, good thing I didn't get scammed. I did my research, found out that was a scammer, uh, which it was kind of a good thing because it led, it led me to do even more research. Right. Uh, so um, after that, just started doing research. And uh, basically, I just learned on my own with the help of, like I said, YouTube is a very powerful tool. Um, all this information is out there for you to to view. Um, but those that take advantage of um, the internet and actually take time to read and do your research, um, you'll get to position to where your the level of knowledge that you have will benefit you greatly, and it comes with rewards. For sure, for sure. So. As as far as uh, this, I know you gave us a little bit, um, you know, about yourself and how you got started. And um, like we were saying before, it, it's about money. All right. So when you got into it, what what was like an experience that you had? Or maybe you, maybe you can share maybe your top two or three um, where you was like, OK, like this is this is it. I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be invested in this long term. Like what when did that happen for you? Uh, when I learned learned about a concept called staking. Um, and if you don't know what staking is, I guess for like the layman's term, um, you just participate in the cryptocurrency ecosystem by um, locking up your tokens. And for participating, you're rewarded interest on top of those tokens that you stake. And uh, you, those are your tokens still, but uh, on, on the blockchain with smart contracts, uh, I'm trying to make it so it's not confusing to people. No, because no, I always say this. Um, it's very similar to how we are used to CD accounts or something like that. So yeah, you correct. have you have fiat currency, you put it in the bank and you earn interest over it and over a certain period of time, but you have to hold your money in there for that time that you're going to say. And there's different stake, staking uh, programs or different things, but usually there's some type of fee or penalty. And it's the same way when you're dealing with cryptocurrency. So it it's usually, like, go ahead. Okay. okay, so it's just like the regular uh, financial system. I'm, I'm pretty sure some people's banks give them uh, dividends uh, mm, monthly, right. but they're, they're very, very minimal dividends. It's like, it's nothing compared to what they get on the back end for fees and all that. Mm-hmm. So once I, I learned that the field was kind of leveled out for the average individual to participate in this kind of new financial system, it was like a no brainer. It like clicks in your brain, like instantly when, when you can, have a your a value increase with you not having to start your own business, for example. Like right. it's, just, it's just another yeah, it's just another way that was created, I guess. Right, right. So it's like uh, being able to have money, right? Say you have a savings account, right? Now your savings account, the the amount of interest you earn on that in comparison to the potential with, you know, crypto, granted you do your research and you connect it to the right projects, it is is gonna far exceed anything that's possible with a traditional bank account. Yeah, that's that's totally correct. And uh once you the only way you're gonna find out is if you actually start doing it. For sure. Um, so that's how I that's how it kind of clicked in my brain. If you if you like sit on it too long and overthink it that's when you just missed out on a pretty good opportunity i'm gonna have to say yes i agree and i realize this and in, in, in life too sometimes if you want to come into something thinking you just want to know every little single particular detail about something you're gonna it's gonna take forever you're never gonna have all of that knowledge you can do your best do your due diligence connect with people who are in the same space that you want to be in and you have to get started. And once you get started, then you'll be able to gain more knowledge about things as the time comes. I've definitely experienced that. Like I, uh, uh, Christopher was the first person who uh, I believe told me about Hex, but at that particular time, my focus wasn't on, you know, diving into cryptocurrencies like that. But, you know, a year later, you're looking at the price of it. Like, wow, I, I wish 
I would have jumped in at that time, you know, when, you know, imagine getting it in under a penny or something. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, the amount of multiplying X's you can do from that standpoint uh, to now is just, you know, it's crazy. And that it has done, let's be honest, that it, that it has done. Uh, so there, there's other opportunities that come across, but some projects are just seem like once in a lifetime. So, uh, with that being said, do you mind sharing? I know every like pretty much most of the majority of the market is that you know is is, is taking a big uh, dip, retrace, pullback, like however you want to look at the market. The markets have been down uh, for for a little while, but even through all this time, because you've been how long have you been in this space? You said for since like 2017? 20, 2018, man. Okay. early twenty eighteen. Okay, twenty eighteen. So I think for, like at three grand, uh-huh. around three grand or between three and six ten. Oh man yeah i remember when bitcoin was was uh and people thought it was high then you know it's just it's uh i thought it was high too bro like <laughs> I, I, I was... <laughs> yeah i mean when it was 10 i mean you know i was like oh man but uh it took that dip so what over your this like what have been maybe your top two or three cryptos or projects that you've been a part of um since you've been in the space uh, I like Course Hex, which is a people say projects and product and product. It's it, Hex is actual product, right? Um, I just, I just want to get that out there. There's a difference between a product and a project. Okay, educate, educate. So, project. There's some cryptos out there in the space that are not even completed projects. Like they're not even completed yet. Right. There's there's speculation. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Hex, it is a completely pawed up so they're you're not going to hear no upgrades to it you're not going to hear um any other news but pretty much price because it's a product it's completed right completed contract can't can't be reversed uh if anything were to happen it's still going to be on the blockchain no matter what mm-hmm. um so uh that hex is the first is number one, I guess, on mine for product wise, and then I like the Cosmos ecosystem. Okay. Um, so Cosmos, you can just see it as other blockchains being built on it, like how you could see Ethereum. Mm. Uh, Cosmos is just a different token. Um, kind of have like the kind of similar aspect of like you use the token for gas fees and all that stuff. Right. So Hex and Hex and Cosmos are my on my top top tier. Okay. Okay. So once again, we're not giving any financial advice, but you know, please go out and do your research and check out Hicks and check out people's uh, results, check out Cosmos and, and see what you think. Um, and you know, from my experience, you know, with everything, you're going to have naysayers, you know, you're going to have people who don't really understand trading and uh, looking at the markets. You know, you're going to have people that lost money from buying in uh, at, at an all time high and wondering why they, they got wrecked or whatever. So it's like, once you begin to develop uh, the knowledge and information for yourself, then you can make the best decisions you can for yourself. Um, so as far as that, do you uh, take on like any mentorships to help people get started or do you, what do you do? You have like, how do you, do you do anything like that? Um, I do offer mentorships. I'm working on a website right now um, to make it easier for people to find me. Um, I do, I do uh, help run a Facebook group. Um, so if anybody's interested, it's a free group. I don't, I don't do any charging there, but if I do um, offer mentorship, if you just reach out to me, um, but I, I really don't advertise it on a website, Okay. Uh, but I do it on my Instagram. So, right. so, uh, you, so you pretty much have a, a, a free um, Facebook group, right? So. Yeah. Free Facebook group. Um, I'm giving, I'm just trying to give out value right now. And That's so all. There you, there you go. There so you. I can get my own. Uh, I kind of want to turn into a consultation business, but there's a lot that you have to go through to make sure that you don't do it the wrong way. You want to do it the right way. For sure. For sure. So if, uh, you know, y'all are interested, I'll be sure to put a link um, to where you can reach out to Chris Paul directly on Instagram and um, get uh, access to the Facebook group. If you just want to get information, Uh, um, some things that he shared with me has been hex. 
Um, and there's an app called Staker app recently uh, that makes it easier to track, um, you know, your hex when you're staking it. And, uh, you know, I, I just I, I did a test for 30 days and in that 30 days, uh, you know, I just put in four hundred dollars and it doubled over that period of time. Um, so. I'm not telling you going to get those results, but the, this, in my opinion, is just the beginning. Um, you know, people have uh, I know we're doing a lot of talking about his people have their opinions about uh, Richard Hart, which I think, I think is the founder, if that's the name for it. But then I, I cut through the BS and I'm looking at the facts. And in my, in my opinion, the dude is, you know, he's a genius when it comes to the uh, numbers and understanding money and, and stuff like that. So um, I, I definitely like the product. So, and, uh, I want to add on to I'll add on to that what you just said. It it does not really matter what he really does as long as you listen to the facts. Everybody has their opinions on the way a per, a person presents presents themselves, but you got to get the facts straight before you judge somebody just because of a video that you saw one time or something. Right, 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 right. Not not everybody has the same people skills. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, but. Uh, with that being said, uh, you know, thank you for coming on. Like I said, you're somebody that I've seen that's been in the space promoting it uh, like you for the past couple of years and, and giving out some valuable information. And sometimes people don't realize how valuable it is. Right. You you could have took twenty dollars and been rich by now if you, you know, just would have paid attention to something. So any any uh, words of encouragement or anything you want to share before we get off? Yeah. So I uh, mentioned to uh, one product hex and the project cosmos um i want to add in a third one um if you're new or if you're just getting into crypto there's uh, an ethereum fork that is being launched called pulse chain uh so if you don't really know what that is just go to pulsechain.com and just read over the website but basically uh the system state of ethereum is being forked by the the guy who created hex right so if you if you go to nomics.com and see the ranking of hex is that number three and you see the number two is ethereum so That's right if a creator of a token is in the top three right now what makes you think like just kind of makes sense for you to go check out his other project that he created yeah and uh if you're already on the ethereum network uh, you're going to get a copy of all your ERC20 tokens right. on this new on this new system. And there's an airdrop, which if you don't know what airdrop is, um, it's free money. But if you want to talk about it in another stream or... Sure. I, I still didn't even explain what HEX is, like in layman's terms to make it easier for people to understand. Right, right. Um, I shared a little bit about it, but like I said, I put your information down, and you know, uh, if we got time, I'm I'm not, I'm not opposed to it because we didn't mention that, and uh, what I, what I say because I I do my best. I'm still learning terminologies when it comes to the space, but I do my best to give it to, to see if people can grab it, give them some way they can grab it. So when I looked at uh, post chain and you know understanding it's a, a fork of Ethereum. I'm pretty much telling people it's similar to cloning uh, Ethereum, right? You know, the same coding and everything. So if you have any of the tokens, which are Ethereum uh, based tokens or ERC 20 tokens, right. Uh, on, on that, uh, on that platform, then when you, you uh, have, say you have made a mask and you have your, all your ERC 20 tokens, then you will get a clone version of all these tokens now the price value won't be exactly the same but you if you have a thousand ethereum then you'll have a th thousand pulse ethereum or or a thousand usdc or or hex or whatever it is so if you have money just sitting there anyway <laughs> you know you might you might want to pay attention to that because it's free money and like you said, uh, with Hex being on, on nomics.com, I told you about CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, but but Nomics, um, you know, they they have, I like the information. I just say that. And uh, Hex is number three on there, you know, right under Ethereum. And so imagine the same owner as Hex, which is number three, and he's doing a fork of Ethereum, which is number two. It's like mind blown. And if you go and look at the numbers, the, the proof is in the numbers. Numbers, numbers, not going to lie to you. Um, yeah, math is math. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Numbers not going to lie. 
Sounds good. Like I like I want to say is everything that I say is educational purposes only. That's right. And you always do your own research. Always do your own research. That's all right. That's right. So, all right, family. Thank you for tuning in to Too Smart to Be Broke. Look, like I tell you, in layman's terms, it's about getting this money. It's about freedom. I'm going to bring people on that actually educate you and, and taking them footsteps. All right. So I'll see y'all soon. Peace. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Where's the money?